What's going on, people? Uh, Will the Greatest here, and um, I, I'm going to go through a couple of these, but um, let me just kind of introduce who this is. If you have not heard of him, this is, well, let, let's just read his little Amazon bio. Hugo Award nominee Dr. Chuck Tingle is an erotic author and Taekwondo Grandmaster, almost black belt, from Billings, Montana. After receiving his PhD at DeVry University in Holistic Massage, Chuck found himself fascinated by all things sensual, leading to his creation of The Tangler, a story so blissfully erotic that it cannot be experienced without eliciting a sharp tingle down the spine. Chuck's hobbies include backpacking, checkers, and sport. So yeah, uh, if you've ever seen a lot of those really funny gay parodies, you can probably thank Dr. Chuck Tingle. And let's uh let's take a look at the uh Space Raptor Butt trilogy actual actual uh combination pack and um let's read this little synopsis here. With his genre defining work, Space Raptor Butt Invasion, Chuck Tingle proved that even gay dinosaur erotica could be nominated for a Hugo Award, the most prestigious honor in science fiction. Nobody could have expected what would happen when the story continued. Collected here is the entire trilogy of Chuck Tingle's history-making Space Raptor Butt series. Space Raptor Butt Invasion. Space can be a lonely place, especially when you're stationed by yourself on the distant planet Zorbus. In fact, Lance isn't quite sure that can last the whole year before his shuttle pod arrives. But when a mysterious visitor appears at Lance's terraforming station, he quickly realizes that he might not be so alone after all. Soon enough, Lance becomes close with this mysterious new astronaut, a velociraptor. Together, they form an unlikely duo, which quickly begins to cross the boundaries of friendship into something much, much more sensual. It's not gay if it's a man and a dinosaur, is it? Following up is Space Raptor but Redemption. After a year stationed on planet Zorbus, astronaut Lance Tanner and his raptor lover, Orion, return home to find that they are not greeted as heroes, but as villains. Unbeknownst to Lance, his space travels have been funded by a villainous, THE villainous, Scoundrels Incorporated, a corporation that has deep ties to the illegal trade of unicorn tears and a destructive mining project at the core of the Earth. Now Lance is on trial for a number of false charges. From having connections to the wicked scoundrels, to being too strange for space. The opposing lawyer argues that space is only for serious astronauts, and that love between a raptor and a man is giving space travel a bad name. Lance is arguing that there's room to be weird in space. More importantly, Lance is arguing for the idea of love itself. That just because something comes out of darkness, doesn't mean it can't be a beacon of light. Of course, this all culminates in a hardcore dinosaur on astronaut pounding that will have your jaw on the courtroom floor. Space Raptor Butt Ascension Soon after blasting off on their mission to find refuge to the people of Earth-1 on the dinosaur-inhabited Earth-2, Orion and his space raptor lover, Lance, find a spaceship slow o oh i'm sorry they find a spaceship stowaway the notorious ceo of scoundrels incorporated vam dox vam claims that his intentions are pure but it's hard to trust such a sad strange man after landing in hugana the planet capital of earth 2 our heroes restrain Vam Dox and head off to secure an important diplomatic relationship with the pterodactyl president. But that's when all hell breaks loose. Soon, Vam Dox is storming the capital with a band of rabid dogs, and Lance and Orion are wrongly taken the blame. Fortunately, Lance and Orion knew that the only cure for evil this strong is to prove their love in a hardcore gay encounter at the steps of the capitol building. When the smoke clears, will Vam Dox be revealed as the supervillain that he claims to be, or a meek, lonesome man-baby who is starved for attention? Truly, a masterpiece of our time.
So let us continue with Dr. Chuck Tingle's Complete Guide to Romance. When it comes to dating, romance and all things sensual, few figures are quite as revered as Dr. Chuck Tingle, erotica author, cultural icon, and now self-help guru. As the generation's leading voice on the subject of sex, Dr. Tingle has blown the lid off of dating in modern times, revealing his hard-earned tips and tricks for navigating the waters of single life and beyond. With Dr. Chuck Tingle's complete guide to romance, readers now have a glimpse into the mysterious world of Tingle, covering relationship advice for all four dateable creatures, dinosaurs, unicorns, big feet, and living objects. Chuck also provides his wisdom on unconventional relationships, like submissive, domineering, open relationships, ghost relationships, and more. For readers with a culinary or wizardly bent, Chuck includes his signature recipe for spaghetti and chocolate milk, as well as a spell book geared specifically towards romance. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor is in. Warning, this book includes graphic depictions of gay sexuality. Reader discretion is advised. Fascinating. Truly, I might have to purchase this myself for some friends. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Pounded by Politics, Nine Tales of Civic Butthole Diplomacy. A must read for any political junkie, Pounded by Politics, Nine Tales of Civic Butthole Diplomacy collects Chuck Tingle's finest stories of hardcore gay democracy in action. Whether it's first buckaroo Bill horsing around in the White House, or a handsome living corn putting it all on the line for a hotshot agricultural lobbyist. This assortment of erotic fiction has something for buckaroos of every political background. With this compilation, you will find the following inspirational tinglers. Pounded by the pound. Turned gay by the socioeconomic implications of Britain leaving the European Union. Feeling the burn in my butt. President Donald Loch Ness Trump pounds America's butt, slammed in the butt by Donald Trump's attempt to avoid accusations of plagiarism by removing all facts or concrete plans from his Republican National Convention speech, creamed in the butt by my handsome living corn first, buckaroo Bill pounded by the handsome living White House pounded by President Bigfoot pounded in the butt by my leaked Mashley Addison data slammed in the butt by the handsome sentient manifestation of Election Day. I don't, I, I honestly don't know what, what to do with that. Anyways, let's move on to, uh, oh boy. Donald Trump pounded in the butt by his fabricated wiretapping scandal made up to redirect focus away from his seemingly endless unethical connections to Russia. You know, relatively short title. Donald Trump, sorry, Donald Trump has been listening to his timeline briefings, and now he's in trouble. To the frustration of his staff, Donald's incompetence has allowed several unethical timelines to get dangerously close to this one, and facts regarding his administration's deep connections to the Russian government are leaking left and right. Donald decides to solve this problem old-fashioned way, with a tweet brazenly declaring that the previous president was wiretapping him. Donald hopes his bizarre fabrication will now dominate the news cycle, while he heads off to golf with his Russian T-Rex buddies. Unfortunately, he has simply opened an even bigger can of worms. Now, Donald is forced to confront the physical manifestation of his fictional wiretapping scandal, and is about to learn that his tweet could cause him a lot of problems, whether it's true or not. Of course, this all culminates in a hardcore anal pounding on the golf course that will have your jaw on the floor. This erotica tale is 4,200 words of sizzling human on handsome political distraction action, including anal, blowjobs, cream pies, rough sex, and delusional online post-love. And now I think we have the final story. Helicopter Man. Pound Dinosaur Billionaire Ass. My name is John Hams, and I'm a sex addict. And so begins Dr. Chuck Tingle's first full-length novel, 
Helicopter Man Pounds Dinosaur Billionaire Ass, a thrilling superhero origin story that will take you to the edge of gay erotic romance and stare bravely into the abyss. It is a story so powerful, so sensual, that it could change the very face of erotic literature forever. John Hams is a man who has lost it all. A nine-to-five nobody with an addiction to billionaire dinosaur bad boys. That is, until a freak accident at work imbues John with the ability to transform into an achingly handsome helicopter at will. Suddenly, things are looking up. As John uses his ability to woo this dashing stegosaurus from his addicts group, who just happens to have a thing for rugged aircrafts. But it's not long before John's new helicopter identity starts to spin out of control, taking on a personality of its own as the wild and horny Chibs Pratt. Chopper with abs. Can John Hams become the hardcore gay hero that he is destined to be? Or is this shifter bound to be nothing more than his own worst enemy? The room itself is massive as well, with another set of windows that fill the far wall from floor to ceiling and look out towards the distant Hollywood Hills. It's a corner unit, providing two completely unique but equally breathtaking views. I slowly strut across the hardwood floors on the landing skids towards the orb, enjoying the way that his yellow dinosaur eyes flicker and dance across the metallic body. At this point, he can't help but stare. Seductively. I gave my blades a quick flash of speed and hover up onto the bed, then crawl towards him, eventually positioning myself directly over his body. I take Yorb's hands carefully with two blades and pull them above his head, controlling him completely as I make my way down his ripped chest and scaly abs with a series of sensual helicopter kisses. Well, I hope you enjoyed this scintillating look into some of the works of Chuck Tingle. Because I don't know what the fuck I just read. That was all so much because this was the first time reading it. I did not read that in advance. I just kind of looked at the covers and said, yeah, okay, this should be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Well, apparently helicopters having sex with velociraptors. So here we are. And you just listened to this and we're sharing this moment. And if you want more weird videos like this, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, just just do that. I just I I don't know what to do with myself. I'm I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>